Hi there, it's good to see you this morning as we begin our 21 days, our three weeks of prayer and fasting. And it's really important that we get off to a good start by being intentional. Today, as we begin, one of the, the themes and the first theme today that we've put on our list for 21 days is the Thanksgiving. And the Thanksgiving uh, is really important because it paves the way for our prayers. And um, today, it's it's really good. Listen, we, we, we're not coming to the Lord with a big shopping list. We're coming to the Lord in faith that he will hear our call and hear our cry and, and that we'll be touched for the things that are on his heart. Today, uh, I wanted just to also underline the fact that yesterday was my keynote message and I spoke on Acts chapter 1, verse 8. The word God gave me, for our church family for the whole of this year was the word at dunamis. Now, when I was seeking the Lord for a word, he expected him to draw me to a scripture and draw me to a text. But it didn't. It was that one word that the Lord kept dropping into my spirit. And so the the the, the, the most uh, notable verse of that for me was Acts chapter 1. Verse 8, for you shall receive power, you shall receive dynamis after the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you shall be my witnesses in Jerusalem, Samaria, Judea, the uttermost parts of the earth. Dynamis is the power of God to do the miraculous, and we heard yesterday about how um, a woman reached out and touched Jesus and he perceived that dynamis had gone from her, from him to her, and that she had had the the, the the problem with the the woman that was losing the blood, the blood flow, the woman with issue of blood, as she's called, her life was literally ebbing away day by day, day by day, year by year. But when she touched Jesus in faith, she came to Jesus and her life was transformed. She got her life back. She was no longer losing her life day by day, but she started to walk in new life. And... Uh, it's really, really sad that so many people are losing their lives due to coronavirus at the moment. And if ever we needed dynamis, I, I'm personally very thankful that the vaccine is coming and it's on its way and lots of people get that opportunity, especially the most vulnerable in our society. One thing I don't want, as any Christian should not want, is loads of people dying. We do not want that and anything that can save lives for me has got my vote. Now, dynamis, however, is not the power of man. It's not our ability. It's God's ability. It's his supernatural ability, actually. When the Bible speaks of dynamis, it speaks of miracles. It speaks of God's ability to do the things that we cannot do. So I, I want to really encourage you to pray for God's dynamis. And remember that the Lord channels that supernatural power through us weak vessels. Dynamis has got nothing to do with our ability. It's not anything to do with my holiness, your holiness, your righteousness. You know, you know, we listen to some Christians and it's as if they've got some special holiness that God will do things through them that he won't do through anyone else. That could never be further from the truth. Dynamis is God's willingness to do the impossible, to do the incredible, to do the unthinkable uh, through you and through me. That is humbling, but it's true. So as we begin to pray over these three weeks, I want you to really zone in and focus in upon that, that God wants to display his dunamis. He's willing to, to bring the, that dunamis in and through our lives for his glory and for his honour. At the end of the day, we are to be his witnesses and ambassadors for the kingdom. And so this three weeks, please, please, please pray with us, interact with us, feedback. Don't just be out there on your own. One person on their own can't do much, but together we're not only a family, we're an army that's praying in Jesus' name. God bless you today as we start this and we'll speak again soon. Bye for now.